In other news tonight, a cluster of vacant homes near the Odessa High School campus has one parent concerned after she found out that her son and other classmates are using the homes as a place to hang out and skip school. CBS 7's Laura Landman spoke with the mom and her son who actually lived in one of these homes for three days. Lauren? Jay Tatum, that's right. The mother says she had no idea that these homes even existed or more that her son and other OHS students were skipping school and hanging out in them. Today, she pleads for property owners of the abandoned homes to take responsibility and board up these buildings. At least have the doors locked, have a padlock on them. Rena Henderson never thought she would be the mom looking for her son who ran away especially not here in vacant homes just a few blocks away from the OHS campus. I, I never even would have thought about my kid going to a vacant house and hanging out, you know, and, and I had no clue there was even so many. In my eyes, the perfect place to go um, to not get caught, to, you know, stay under the radar. For three nights, Dylan stayed in this home with another classmate. During the day, he says students would drop by for lunch. It was more of just a hangout spot for kids that I didn't have anywhere to go for lunch. Of course, staying in a home without permission is considered trespassing. We get called all the time um, to abandon homes. According to OPD spokesperson Steve LaSware, pinning someone for trespassing is difficult unless the owner notified the police. However, there are other criminal charges that can be pressed. Whether it's drug activity, uh, vandalism, anything, any type of criminal activity. For Rena, she says her son is facing punishment at home and hopes that her story will have property owners boarding up their buildings so that other students won't make the same mistakes. As long as it's locked up tight and again, no trespassing signs, um, you know, anything like that, it being monitored, especially if they live in the area or know people in the area, you know, it being it being monitored. And that's what I would really like to see um, with these houses. According to the Ector County Appraisal District, Southwest Banks owns the property. Employees from the bank say, tell me that they have plans to demolish the buildings in the near future. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.